why did I decide to do this with the light off? Because I thought it would be artistic. Oh! Um, hello, hello. <laughs> Bear with. I'm trying to hold my breath. Let it stay this way. Come on. Charge for me, baby. There we go. Hello, welcome to this random video that I have not yet decided what it's gonna be. <sighs> well, it needs, it's Friday night and you're watching this, hopefully, if you're watching this today, the day it comes out, Sunday. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. Um, we need to tidy this. This has all been in my freaking car. And um, I needed to clear out my car yesterday because I was, um, I thought I was giving some people a lift and then, it, anyway, that didn't work out. Oh, let me just smell my bathroom. Ooh, I got, <laughs> I got this Febreze bathroom, fresh spring awakening. And it's like, I mean, it's all right. It's uh, it's just natural. It's like this, and then, oh yeah, and then when you when you push the button in, and then it just releases. So yeah. Even though I've got this bloody thing, from, uh, Dunelm Woodland doesn't smell. It smells up close amazing but you can't smell it at all i need to complain about that so i think we're just gonna do a sort my life out friday night edition been written to by the blimmin tv license time to check. Do you need a TV license? No. One in eight people we've spoken to on the doorstep to check their license play, night, to check their no, no license needed claim did actually need a TV license. Well, I don't because I only watch BBC at my mum's house <laughs> because I don't have a TV or a TV license because I think it's a ridiculous amount of money to spend to watch and I'd rather just watch Netflix, which I use my brother's Netflix because I don't pay for that either. <laughs> hmm. So first things first, oh, should we do a little haul? Oh, I mean, I should have made my bed. Oh well. So I just went to the chemist to get my um, citalopram injection, no. Citalopram prescription and the doctors have upped my dose so I was taking um, 20 mil and they've upped it to 40 because I've just been um, all over the place so I accidentally asked for two pres two prescriptions the other day because I forgot I'd already asked for one she was like do you want both of them I was like yeah saves me coming back <laughs> what's 28 times 8 28 by 8 is 224 224 224 so that's 100 oh 112 days 
that's what three months worth so yeah i also got the other febreze one cotton fresh because when i went to that airbnb in cornwall there was a one of these and i couldn't work out if it was cotton fresh or um this one or the one i've got spring awakening i think it's this one because the smell I smell in Cornwall is not that smell. So yeah. I really wish they had a scratch and sniff. Because I don't know what Con Fresh smells like. Well, apparently. No battery needed. Yay. Sorry, my battery just died. Now we have a nice fully charged one. So. <clears throat> I wish my boobs were just a bit smaller. Because this always pulls up over them. Anyway. Um, uh, yeah. This is not sponsored in any way. Uh, Bayliss and Harding, look at their new packaging. I know that I shouldn't buy reusable soap bottles because it's plastic, but this is just a bit of me. Nikki would love this. Nikki in the car, Nikki. Oud, cedar and amber with organic extracts of oregano and lemon. And because I had my Tesco club card, it was three pounds instead of four. And um, yeah. Oh, it's so nice. You know what? I'm going to text Nikki it now. Text her picture. Because <clears throat> she's got this oud perfume that's really lovely. I just bought this and think you will love it as well. Comma, three pounds in Tesco with a club card. Um, yeah, so I got that. What else did I get? Oh, yeah. Um, my hair has been, um, well, I just wanted my hair to be smoother because I haven't got any oil or anything. So, or like any serum. So I wanted to get a serum. Um, and you know, like they're really expensive. So I found this. I've used it once. I used it today and it's really nice. Um, Leo Bancroft Sleek and Smooth Serum. Now, this was £2.70. Like, normally serums and stuff are like for six, seven pounds. Non-tacky lightweight serum to help add shine and smoothness to hair. It definitely did. And I used it on dry hair as well, so I'm interested to use it on damp hair. Yeah, use on damp or dry hair. Rub a few drops into your hands and work it through the mid lengths to ends. Leave on hair for a few moments before style heating. For curly hair, use once dry to define curls. Interesting, again, not sponsored. Bought with my own money. Yeah, £2.70. Bargain. Bargain, bargain. So, what am I going to do tonight? I... Yeah, oh, I got these gorgeous flowers from my human, from a human, and I need to put them in water. So, yeah, my vase is there. I need to put my washing away. I need to take these shoes off. Oh, I should have bought my dress in from the car. Ah, first, I just bought a new, this is all over the place, isn't it? Um, I have been trying to find the perfect leather jacket. I bought one on Vinted and then I knew that it wasn't, it was like a bit, a bit like flaky, you know, the faux leather gets a bit flaky, but I wore it into London and I looked at the arm and it was all just, this whole massive bit of it was just coming off. So um, yeah, I got rid of that and then I bought another one and it was too big for me because the woman put the wrong size on it. Um, it was a size too big, funnily enough, which is weird when you're a plus size to wear anything too big. So, this blooming thing. 
this blooming thing i went to it's dpd i went to the shop to get it the other day and he was like it's not here even though i was told it had <gasps> been delivered so i went to collect it the other day and the guy was like it's not here i'm like it has been delivered i've received two emails to say it's here and he wouldn't check for me i was like can you just check he was like it says it's not in this shop so then today was the last day i could go and get it so i went to the shop and it was a different uh, employee and he was lovely he scanned it and the same thing came up it's not here and he just instantly went to check which was and the parcels were kept right below his feet so the other guy could have just done it anyway leather jacket time oh okay this is good this was eight pounds it's capsule so that's simply b size 26 let's move you up here so you can see me try on ah that's better ha 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 yeah that feels brand new you know lovely 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 perfecto I need to confirm that I've received it. So that the girl gets her money. Ha, <laughs> Nikki said, oh yes, that's a bit of me. How did you know? That's literally my scent. <laughs> because you were wearing that Oud perfume the last time I saw you and I wanted to take it off of your skin, LOL. That was too far, but hey, we're going with it. Okay, oh yeah, I've hinted. is okay leave feedback five stars beautiful jacket and lovely seller thanks a lot heart emoji send cool done um flowers I'm gonna get changed first. Bye. Hi. <laughs> so, uh, oh God, was my fridge open? Yeah, my fridge was open this whole time. Like two days. <sighs> Slipping through my fingers all the time. I've got my nightie on. Have you been to, uh, I've got my nightie on, but I left my bra on so that I can move around and it's not too awful for you and for me. Anyway, I know I'm body shaming myself, but anyway, have you been to Barcelona? Have you been to those sculptures on the roof where they're like uppy downy? If you, if you know what I mean, you'll have, if you've been there, you'll know what I mean. Anyway. I went there when I was 16, so 21 years ago, and I bought my mum back this vase. <laughs> well, it's actually like a carafe thing with a, a little spout, but we use it as a vase. And anyway, the other day she was like, I've had enough of this now. Um, not, she was nicer about it, but she was like, I don't want this anymore, do you want it? And I'm like, give it to me. Like, it's survived. Oh God, don't jinx it. 20 years. And now it's come here to die. Slipping through my fingers all the time. I need to do the washing up, washing up, washing up. I need to do the washing up all day long. These are so beautiful. You know what I find a really good trick is for doing these? Go get your secateurs. Because so, like a lot of uh, bouquets nowadays have wood in them and you can't cut through wood with scissors. 
I've tried. So you can just go bang, 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 bang. Boom. Done. I just need to take this greenery away. And a bit of a flowers. What's the word? Control freak. I need them to be perfect. <laughs> oh, I love flowers. I love giving flowers. Obviously love receiving flowers. Oh, they smell so fresh. Gorgeous. Oh, oh amazing. them okay I've put them here but I need to move my monstera because I repotted it the other day and it's just been there like festering for a bit you can tell that I cleared out my car because this is a bit of my car it's the <laughs> it's the spoiler that goes over the the bit that protects your car from going over speed bumps because funnily enough, mine smashed off. And, um, yeah. I asked my garage to put it back on. He was like, oh, I forgot. So, oh. Yeah. Uh, oh. I just can't be bothered. The other day when I went to Cornwall, I went into this charity shop and um, it was really sweet. So I wanted to buy a few things to like support the shop. And I got this <laughs> slightly creepy, slightly cute uh, pet shop kittens puzzle. Only 500 pieces, so it will be quite good. And it's sealed. So I know that it has 500 pieces in it. Oh, okay. Slipping through my fingers all the time. I feel like I need to do some sort of like time lapse. I need my headphones on. I need a hair tie on my head. God, my hair doesn't feel like my hair. <laughs> like silky. Silky and straight. I'm like, whose wig is this? When I was young, I always want. When I was young, um, I always wanted long hair so I could swing it in a ponytail like that. Now I have it. <laughs> now I have it, and all I do is wear it up in a bum. Okay, right. This bag is made entirely from recycled plastic collected from the marine and coastal environments. One of my lovely, lovely followers got me this, Gillian. She got me a few of these um, Trader Joe's bags. And this is one of them. She got me one, She got me them because she said that I never have a bag, which is very true. And I had this bag and I felt like a million dollars because for once I had a flipping bag. Yes, okay. When I was young, seven life was so wonderful. A miracle, oh, it was beautiful, magical. All the birds in the sea. <laughs> Wait, before you wonder what this is, it's a tripod. It's um, yeah, it's a GoPro tripod. Not to be confused with anything else. Okay. Oh no! I had some grapes that I forgot about. Where's my phone? Oh, I'm sitting on it. Okay, it's 10 to 7. So I've actually just done a lot of clearing up 
um, obviously I completely forgot to film any of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set an alarm. No, I'm going to order some takeaway. I'm going to order some sushi. Some sushi and some vegetable spring rolls. And then I'm going to order it. And then I'm going to tidy up until it gets here. It's on its way. Preparing your order. So this is 20 minutes. Okay, and I'm listening to Lessons in Chemistry, which I don't really like, but oh well. I am knackered I've done loads I know it does not look like it but I've just put away one washing I've got another load on so that'll be good have I taken my medication yeah I have so okay okay Yes, one in the bin. So we have no matter <laughs> no matter how many things you order from this place they always give you two lots of chocolates having said that once i ordered so much i got three pairs of chopsticks so i've got vegetable spring rolls which are like well mm, yum sometimes I'm worried about, I worry about spring rolls because they don't travel well. Then I got a, a sushi, sushi, yes, yum, yum, yum. I do need to wash up. Is that a today thing or is that a tomorrow thing? I feel like that's a tomorrow thing. I feel like that's a tomorrow problem. <laughs> It's now like half 11 at night and I've just had to drag myself off of my bed to go and get my washing out of the washing machine. Oh, it smells lovely though. It's nearly dry. Well, this hoodie isn't actually. Let's put this on a hanger. I feel good for doing so much tonight because I don't think I'm going to be here much this weekend and just like the thought of it being just so messy and then like staying like that just is not the one. Oh, I can't 
can't wait to be asleep. Okay, I'm going to bid you a good night. As you can see, I've done a lot. Well, you might not be able to see I've done a lot, but I have. And, um, yeah, it feels good. But I need to sleep now. <laughs> oh. Nearly falling asleep. Oh. On top of the washing. I was putting it away, so to brush my teeth and go to bed and I will see you in the morning for a little part two. <coughs> hi, hi, hi. Good morning. Oh goodness, I slept so well, but it's still really early on a Saturday. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 7.42am. 7.42. I've been awake for about 40 minutes, but I've just been doom scrolling, which I know is not the best way to start a day. But hey, um, mm, I need to brush my teeth. BRB. I need some moisturiser, but I think my moisturiser, for some stupid reason, is in the car. Oh, yes. <sighs> I'm going to have a shower um, before I go out. That's just mental admin there. I'm telling you what I'm doing, so I need to put away this lot of clothes. Sort out that. Sort out that. Oh, look at my flowers. Oh, they look gorgeous. Ah. Somebody turned the heating up in this house to 28 degrees. We had a lock on the um, thermostat. Like they got a box and they put it over the thermostat. But then someone's smashed the box off because I turned, because it's always so hot in this house, I turned the um, heating off the other day because it was boiling. And then someone smashed the box off and turned it on. And it was up to 30 de uh, 28 degrees. So that's why I've got stupid condensation all up my windows, even though I cleaned them all last week. Anyway. Okay, I need to charge my headphones, so these are going to have to do for now. I'm 22, I'm in Paris, baby, got strippers, tips in my face. Mm -hmm. I'm bored already. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm blitzing it. So. Uh. <clears throat> 
This always folds up so nicely. You know what I really struggle with? Like, the bits of stuff. Like, okay, here I've got like a box of bits, right? And I've got just too many bits. Okay, this is a, okay, no, I do need that. That's a, <laughs> that's a USB to USB-C lead. I need that. But like, I am my mother's daughter. I've got a bit of ribbon. Uh, Ikea family card. Oh, my other battery. Okay, no, I do need what's in here. Uh, pin, pin sentry. Earplugs. Um, another lead, which I don't need. So I've got too many mini USBs. There's my Sharpie. Okay, so that's going to go in the same drawer as this. It's going to go in that little drawer over there. Like hundreds of hundreds of rocks and gems and stuff. Anti-chafing gel. A random key that I don't actually know what it is. Um, glasses and spectacle wipe. Use nail file. The first ring that I ever made. And a lone battery. Who knows if this works or not. And this continues. Like, this whole bag is just bits. Bits on bits. And I know, like, and I, and I, and I struggle with it because I don't just want to throw stuff in the bin. But yet, yeah, and I know I could give away each thing on Olio, but oh my God. Who would like one antacid tablet? <laughs> I'll put that in my first aid box. I have just made an executive decision and I'm gonna get rid of this poang because I'm always catering for somebody, a guest that is not here. And all that does, for instance, I wanna have like two nice chairs when I used to have a nice big sofa, well, two-seater but because it's always in the way I know I'm just realizing this now after being here for years it's always in the way therefore it always feels cluttered therefore I'm overwhelmed and I can't tidy like not don't get me wrong I don't think getting rid of the poang is like the savior of all my problems but it just it's just bulky and I love this one then I can put that in the corner there. Yeah, that feels better. I've just texted my brother and I've been like, do you want a poang? He has not read it yet. <laughs> do you want my poang? Also, hi. <laughs> so I don't think they will because they've just, they've just made some room in their lounge, but I don't think they want a big chair like that. But you never know. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling a lot, a lot better. <clears throat> this box here, this toolbox, can you see? Yeah, yeah, is all full of donations. I will let you know what my bro says. <laughs> oh my God, I need some hydration. Hydration. <laughs> I haven't done that before. I know that Murder on the Dance Floor by Sophie Ellis Bexter is like back in the charts. Is it because of Saltburn? I haven't seen Saltburn yet. I feel like I should watch it because if anything's all the rage, I'm always like, no, I'm too cool for that, which is untrue. Yeah, I've got Sophie Ellis Bexter. It's Murder on the Dance Floor, but you better not kill the mood, DJ. It's gonna burn this floor down, house right down. I don't know, 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 I don't know,
about your kind. It's a very good song, I just hate it. It's one of those songs that you think, oh, I don't like this because it's overplayed, and then you hear it years later, and I'm like, nope, it's still. It's a no from me, DJ. Anyway, stop talking random stuff and continue. What time is it? It's 8.53 a.m. Oh. Yeah, I just started hoovering and then I was like, I should not be hoovering at 8.53 a.m. Because Mr. Bus Driver downstairs is not going to be a, a, a appreciative, <laughs> appreciative of that. Okay, onwards and upwards. So we've got a little change of plan. I just offered it to Louis. He said no. Well, I offered it to Louis. He didn't apply. So I text Sarah, his wife, and she said no. They haven't got any room for it. So I put it on Olio and it was snapped up within two minutes. <laughs> so the guy said he could come at half 11, but that's when I'm gonna give you getting ready and it's just annoying. So it's now 9.20 and he said, oh, I can come over, but I'm gonna disassemble it. Is that all right? And I said, yeah, you can do it in the hallway downstairs. And then I just was like, let me just bring it to you. Because if you're anything like me, as soon as I need, as soon as I make a decision, I need it done now. So like for me, I don't think I can like continue with what I'm doing until that is gone. And yes, I could put it downstairs, but I'm a nice person. So <laughs> I'm gonna now attempt to get it into my car. And um, yeah. So, I'm going to take this down, because I need to, how did I do it last time? I think I had to move quite a lot of stuff out of the boot, because it was bigger than I, th it's bigger than I think it is, so to like get it in, I mean I did film it so I could just watch my vlog back to see which angle it went in, that's what she said. This is all my recycling and paper that I need to sort out. Oh no. <laughs> Why didn't I use my brain? Well, uh, that was a workout and a freaking half. They come and go, bang. They come and go. message him how nice does my hair look though <laughs> my brother I just text Louis and was like Louis just responded because all I said to him was do you want the poang because I thought that everyone knew that those chairs were called poangs anyway obviously my brother is not on that level um and he just wrote the chair question mark. I feel like saying that was last hour's news, mate. Long gone. This road is normally really good for stuff that's left outside, but it's been icy last night. So what may have been left may be spoiled. Come and go. Now, I'm going to apologise now to editing Lauren because you're going to get come a chameleon in your head when you're editing. So, soz. I just put, I just put a new head on my toothbrush and I feel like I've got a new set of teeth. <laughs> you know, and they just feel so <laughs> squeaky clean. Mm. Squeaky, squeaky. 
we are now traveling east down no we are now traveling west down Bathurst Gardens and we will proceed west onto Rentham Avenue stand clear of the doors mind the gap Once I was on the tube and the driver said, um, mind your fingers and mind your toes. These doors are about to close. <laughs> this might actually be the kick up the bum though that I needed to actually sort my car out. Like, what is even in this bag? We've got my walking boots. candle there's my mouse oh my god <laughs> I've been looking for this for so long you freaking little sneak oh god you know what it was I think it's because I once I had somebody coming around or some friends or whatever it was and I didn't want to tidy up, so I put everything in bags and put it in my car, which I know is hopefully relatable, but also terrible. Is it terrible? I don't know. So that's where it blooming is. Oh my God. Two old phones. There's my moisturizer. Okay, I need to firstly stop doing this whilst I'm driving. Yeah, no, I'm going the right way. You know what? This was meant to happen today. This was meant to happen. Thank you, universe. Thank you, Ron, for asking for the chair. Ron, you've saved the day. <laughs> My freaking mouse. Me. these houses are ridiculous this is bloody huge I don't want him to see that I'm spying on him even though I am oh he was really sweet did he lock himself out? no he didn't Cutie. Cutie, cutie. <laughs> now he's trying to wrestle it in his door. <laughs> Let me show you the house before I drive away. Huge bloody house. That's the thing with these huge houses in London now though, like so few of them are single units anymore. They're all split up. Um, but no, he was so cute. He was like, I think he was Italian. He's like, have a lovely weekend. Lovely. Okay. Onwards and upwards. Good for deed for the day done. Space cleared. Life continues. The bulb, I've been looking for this bulb. Blooming heck. More random stones. Why am I like this? Nobody knows. Are you like this? Can you relate? Honestly, what am I wearing? Look, so much space for activities. And let's turn. Yay! 
two bulbs, baby. Yes. So now, let's put you... Yeah, hi, that works. So... I love this Dyson, it's not very good at actually sucking things up. Let's change the head. The smaller one is better. It's more precise. Yeah. I need to actually eat something and actually drink something. This is for the charity shop. <sighs> Yay! That looks good. We're getting there. Maybe. It's gonna hear that. So, oh. <laughs> stretch at the beginning of this. Um, <clears throat> I meant to film earlier when I was ready for the when I was ready for the baby shower, looking all beautiful in my dress. Here's what I wore. Um, but I completely forgot because I was I was late, obviously. Um, but. Yeah, my face is all done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this random video. I'm sitting here Saturday night with two and a half hours of footage to edit from yesterday and this morning. So yay for me. And um, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a bit of a random one. But yeah, how is it the end of January already? I don't quite know. But I hope you have enjoyed it. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, my link is, my coffee link is below to support the work I do on the channel. Um, my PO box is below. I think that's it. Is that all I say normally? I think so. Um, yeah, if you get to this point in the video, comment, I was gonna say comment a baby. No, don't do that. Comment four heart emojis. Not one, two, three, four. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week. Bye.